everyone welcome to my channel it's ain't we got fun and today i wanted to share what's in my purse i do like watching what's in my purse or what's in my bag videos because i'm a little bit of a snoop and i'm always curious and i like seeing what's in other people's bags so i hope you guys find this interesting i've had this bag for about eight years i bought it at the mall and i use it for work pretty much every work day it has everything I need except for my lunch and some other bigger things will go in another bag. And let's see what is inside. So I do want to switch it out soon because it is starting to show some signs of wear. Um, but it has lasted very well. First thing here is some kind of bill. And I'll usually write pay and then I'll put um, a date for the week before or say that that's when it's due. Uh, even though that's not when it's actually due, just to help me pay it as soon as possible. For some reason, I just wrote pay here, which is not that helpful. I always have lots of receipts, and I'm not going to show what's in my wallet. It's just regular wallet stuff. I bought this wallet off of Amazon some time ago. I think it is still there. It is a little bit heavy, though, so um, I might want to change it soon, but it feels pretty durable. This notepad has uh, work information and any notes I want to jot down. And this pouch has some small beauty things, I think. Um, let's see. So, soft picks from gum. It's kind of like using a toothpick, but safer and actually a little better. It's just a little tiny Christmas tree shaped flexible brush. Um, Depending on your teeth, you might not be able to get those through, but they're handy for pushing stuff out from in between the teeth, if they fit. Um, these are blotting sheets. And I usually don't end up using those because I'll use just a tissue, um, sometimes even just a piece of toilet paper in a, a bathroom. Some more soft picks. Um, a list of some things I wanted to watch out for at Dollar Tree, and I don't think I have found any of those things, but anyways, I think I've had that for a while, at least a few weeks. So, uh, a piece of candy, it's random, I, this is supposed to uh, take temperature somehow, I think, oh, it's, yes, um, haven't had to use that, but some kind of disposable thermometer. Um, Listerine Fresh Birds. These are those little papery mints that you can put on your tongue and let them dissolve real quick for some fresh breath. I'm not always able to chew gum because it gives me a headache. Uh, and sometimes I'll carry mints around or some gum just to have. Some floss. It's good to keep that around for when you get something stuck. Um, uh, Skittles, uh, Lip Smacker, Strawberry Banana or Banana Berry flavor, a couple of Halls Cough Drops. And I think that's everything. Oh my goodness. So a lot of receipts. A paper towel with something written on it. Now I work. Um, I do temp work, so I have time cards that I have to have with me, and I they come with like four sheets. The bottom stays with the place you're working at, um, second to last stays with you, and the top two go to the temp agency. So I have those in here, and that was just the copy that stays with me. A random coupon. Um, someone gave this to me. It's a lipstick holder that has a little mirror, and this has Pink in the afternoon, it's, um, see it looks darker here, but it almost matches my skin tone. But I do like to have a lipstick sort of like this around that's, that you can kind of put on without a mirror or put on on the go without having to be super precise, but, yeah. This is, uh, like a strawberry milkshake, I think. 
lip lights from Bonneville. Um, these don't last very long on my lips, but I do like the smell. This is pretty old, I think. A Revlon lip gloss. They don't even come in this shape of tube anymore. Chap Ice Medicated Balm. I hauled this, I don't know how long ago, but I used this for my cuticles. Um, just to flatten them so they don't look as raggedy when I'm at work. Now, see on the side, some hand sanitizer. I guess the cap doesn't stay closed, so I had put some tape on it. But I don't always use this because I'd rather just go and wash my hands. Um, especially if I'm about to eat something that involves using my fingers. I don't like the smell and taste of this while I'm eating. Some gift cards cards from some restaurants that I have gotten a very long time ago as um, gifts. Another receipt. These are the time cards that I carry around with me, my license, and a random envelope with some writing on it. Hopefully the camera moving doesn't make you guys dizzy. So on the bottom of this, I have this uh, kangaroo carrier, it's called. On Amazon, I've seen things like this, but it's pretty much just like a, like a purse liner with pockets that you can keep on the bottom of your bag and it helps organize things and uh, keep your bag a little more clean. And it makes it easier if you switch bags often. It came with two for about 10 bucks and I just bought it randomly in a, in a drugstore nearby a very long time ago. You can still find this or things like this um, probably online or various stores, but this, mine has some uh, business cards that I have made. Two hair ties, I always try to keep some of those around because I tend to lose them or break them, but they're kind of blending in with the black a bit. I put them in those little pockets. Yeah, that receipt. This little bag has some more cough drops and some cough medicine, Dayquil, I think. Um, MAC concealer in the shade NW30. It, this does cover very well, and um, it's lasted a long time. Powder. I don't know why I keep this around. I don't think I've reapplied powder. In a very long time. Um, this is very old, it's almost done with, but maybe I just like hanging on to it just in case something happens where I actually needed to apply it, but I'd rather just blot my face with a tissue than reapply powder. Usually concealer would be the thing to reapply for me if I have any spots or blemishes. I have a knife for some reason. Don't close knives like that. You might cut yourself, but I just did. Some pepper spray I haven't had to use. The knife I'll occasionally use to open things. Another a little coupon. My little side pocket has a lotion and an apple pear scent. Angelissima. This was a gift, so I don't really know where this was purchased. This side has a lighter. I don't smoke, but I feel that I guess I feel the need to have a lighter with me in case I ever need a fire. This is a sample size of Viva La Juicy Noir. I haven't really sprayed this much. Let me. It's hard to describe the smell of this. Um, but if you smelled Viva La Juicy before, it's probably similar. Anyways, um, I like to put one of these little samples in my bag because I don't have a mini bottle of any sort of perfume. I haven't really used that much yet, so I think I just like to have that just in case. Two little pocket tissues. A comb. Let's see if there's anything else. Okay, so in the pocket that had the hair tie, I have some hair pins, or bobby pins, just to hold my bangs away if I ever need those. Let's see. I 
always try to keep a pen. This is one of those ones with some different colors here. Um, I think that the black and blue one are all used up. So. And there's a mirror from Sephora. This was given to me too. I think that is everything that is in the kangaroo terrier. It's not inking it if it is a little dusty. So in the side pocket of the bag, I usually keep a pad. <laughs> I do keep like, the biggest size that they can make. It's like an overnight one. I figure it's better to have it too big than too small. And if you, you know, you should probably change it just as frequently um, as you would any other size, just to prevent odors. But I did have one of these and a coworker needed one and she kind of laughed. She was, she thought that it looked kind of ridiculous, but hey, she didn't have to go to the store or anything. So I think this is just, I don't know, this came when I bought the bag and just hasn't been disturbed. Just some information, I think, about the bag itself. And that is everything. So, now I'm going to clean everything up, put everything back in, oh my goodness, yeah, it's a little bit embarrassing, but yeah, hopefully it'll be lighter when I'm done. Thank you guys so much for watching, I hope you found it interesting, and I'll talk to you guys later, bye!